Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go over how you can do wholesale with your candles or really any physical product that you have that you want to get out there. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kayla. I make videos all about concrete and candles. So if you are a fellow business owner or a crafter like myself, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new videos I post in the future. So today I'm going to go over what I personally do for wholesale, what has worked in the past, some tips, and this is going to be local. Um, a lot of these tips are going to be more local business. You can use this for other states as well, and I will go into that. Let's go ahead and jump into the video so I can tell you a little bit about wholesale. Okay, so first you're going to wanna figure out your retail price. Once you have your retail price, it's super easy to figure out your wholesale price. So basically what your retail price is going to be, it's going to be the cost of your product times three. So for example, if you make a candle and it costs $5 to make, your retail price should be at least $15. Now for wholesale, a lot of people do it differently. Um, the main percentage and the most popular percentage that people use is going to be 50% off retail. What this does is it allows the store to be able to resell your product and still make a profit. So in this example, if your product cost $5 to make, your retail would be $15, half of that retail would be $7.50. So you would be selling your product wholesale to stores for $7.50. What this does when you're using this formula, it makes sure that the store is making money and you are making money. So it's a win-win. Now, once you have the price and the retail, you're going to want to decide if you want a website. So for example, I have a website and an Etsy shop. So I have both. The reason why I really like having my own website as well is for wholesale. So you can make your own page on your website that is specifically for your wholesale clients. I use Shopify and just as a side note, I know Shopify also has some amazing features for wholesale. I'm currently not using them, but I will be in the future for that. Um, right now, I just have a simple page on my website, kind of explains wholesale um, benefits that the store would be getting, for example, you know, I have my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel. So all of their information, you know, my handles being in their store would be on all of those platforms. So that's something that you can give to the stores as a benefit. So your main thing on this wholesale page on your website is you're going to want to make sure that you're showing them why you, what, what is different about your product than these other products? Why should they choose you? Now, another thing you can offer if they're local is free delivery. So that's what I offer my customers for wholesale is free delivery if they're local. It does help out that business relationship and it's really nice because you can deliver your products and make sure they get there on time and in good condition. So another thing that you would wanna put on your wholesale page on your website for your potential customers to look at or returning wholesale customers is a contact form. So I have a contact form at the very bottom of my page. And that way, if anyone does go on my website and they want to get to know more about the wholesale or place an order, they can just simply fill out that little form and it'll shoot right to my email. Makes it super easy for them and super easy for me. On your wholesale page, you are also going to want a wholesale price sheet. So what this is, is it's like kind of like a catalog and you have your pictures of your candles, preferably with a white background. If not, that's totally fine. Um, but I know a lot of businesses do like that white background. It's nice and clean. Um, but you can have the pictures on there, your retail price and your wholesale price so they know that you offer 50% off. And then also any FAQs, you know, delivery, um, if you're shipping it, um, you know, any minimum orders. And we'll get into all this a little bit later. I'll show you an example of mine um, so you guys can see what I have done. So you can either link this on your website. I have a link on mine where it just says download our wholesale price sheet. They click it and it downloads right to their computer as a PDF. I also printed it off and brought it with me when I go and talk to businesses. So that is one thing that you're going to want when you're going and talking to businesses. So they have a picture of your items, they have your contact information, any questions they may have, and it's just a nice reminder of what they can get with your store. 
Okay, so talking about the catalog, this is what it looks like. So again, I have a PDF, um, but this is a printed off version of it. So basically I have my pictures here of my candles with a white background. And then it is kind of hard to see, it's like really small text, but I have the name, ounces, uh, retail price, wholesale price, and then also I have all my scents. I have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, my brand, and my website. On the back, I have more here. As you can see, one of them I didn't have a white background and that's totally fine if you don't. Um, I know they just prefer it and it looks really nice and clean. Um, and then the wholesale FAQs. So this basically I have pricing, minimum orders, delivery, any add-ons. Um, and then I also have on here social media and website exposure. So let's go through these and I'll kind of explain why I put these on here and why it would be beneficial for all of you to use this as well. So for the pricing, having it on here, I put we're happy to offer our wholesale customers 50% off of retail. Um, I know that is the industry norm. However, some people don't do 50%. I have seen some people do 30 or 40. So it definitely is a benefit to point out to your potential customers. Now, for minimum orders, this gets a little tricky. Um, some stores like to try it out, which is totally understandable. So I have had stores, their first order be 100 candles, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> Um, because that is definitely over my minimum. Currently, right now, my minimum is about 25 candles. Um, but I have had stores that wanted to just try 10. Just try 10 candles, see how it goes. And usually, if it's a smaller business, I understand why they're doing that. They obviously don't wanna spend a lot of money up front if they don't know if something's gonna work. So me being a small business owner myself and wanting to build that community relationship with different business owners, you know, sometimes it is good to give that um, extra to them and just let them do 10, try it out. Best case scenario, they sell out and they order more. Um, and you know, and that's usually the case. I've had a few customers who just wanna do 10, 15 to start off. They started off like that and then their next order was, you know, the minimum or above because they did sell out. So that is one thing and one tip that I would say about minimum orders. All right, I already talked about delivery a little bit. I do free local delivery. I personally have not done wholesale out of my state. Um, I have shipped a lot of candles to just customers. I'm in big boxes before, but I haven't shipped like hundreds of candles before. I would assume that you would just need a really big box um, and a lot of padding, but I just do local delivery right now and it is free. Um, I do that as a courtesy and I like to make sure that my products get there in good condition and that way there's no issues. And then if you wanna put any add-ons on here, so for example, I have concrete candles as all of you know and I put my labels on the bottom. So there's not gonna be really any label on the side. So I offer dust covers and candle boxes. Um, you know, I do charge extra for those. So when I have on my price sheet, the 50% off, that's off the retail candle. So in your FAQs, if you do add-ons, I would definitely recommend putting like a price range. So for example, mine, I put, you know, this can range anywhere from 30 cents to a dollar per candle. And you know, that obviously depends on how much they're buying um, and you know what they're needing. And then we already touched on the social media and website exposure. So I have this as an added benefit to my wholesale clients who have my candles in their store. I will put that my candles are held in their store on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, my website. So not only are my candles getting exposure, we're also reciprocating that exposure to the stores. All right, so I wanna talk a little bit about private labeling. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either charge a one-time fee, which is what I do uh, at, the, at the start of the business relationship. I just do a one-time fee for private labeling and you can have that label for the rest of your orders. Or some people like to charge per candle or per order. It is completely up to you. So usually what I'll do if they want private label, I'll ask them, you know, what would you like on your label? And for example, my one customer, I did her logo, website, and phone number. So I put the scent, her website, her logo, and her phone number. So I designed that within 48 hours, sent it to her. She did have a few edits. I went ahead and did that and I designed them in Canva because we all know I love Canva. So 
it was just really nice to be able to design that for her, be able to edit it and still have time to get it all printed off. So that is going to be my number one tip for you is just make sure you give yourself enough time. There are a lot of moving parts um, you know, making your products and delivering and doing this wholesale with stores. So just make sure that you give yourself enough time to do all that. All right, so this is what I go out with. So this is, I just label it on the bottom with the scent. So that way I know what scent it is and they know when they're smelling it. So I bring every single scent with me. Um, and then I make sure that I do the different colors. That way they can see, oh, this is your blue, this is your natural color. Um, and then I have like my rose gold color. So I'll bring all those and each scent, like here's a green one and each one's labeled on the bottom. So that way they can just see everything, okay? So these I usually don't leave behind. Um, I have for people, uh, but usually I like to just keep these with me because I can go to a ton of stores and they can smell my samples and possibly be able to do an order right then because they know what the candle smells like. So if I make an appointment with someone and I'll cover this in a minute. So for example, if you contact someone like via email or Facebook and they're like, I would love to have you come in and show me what you have. You want to make sure you bring all of your scents with you that day bring all your scents, bring the containers that you're gonna do for wholesale. So don't just bring these little ones and say, okay, well this, this is the color it is and then this is what it's gonna look like. Um, that's, it might work, but personally for me, I have found it best to bring the sample of the scent um, and then actual sample of a container. So I don't have all of them, obviously, I don't bring every single one, but I bring a few of them so they can see, okay, these are the cylinders that she offers. Okay, these are the ovals that she offers. So that way they can hold it in their hand, they can see how big it is. They don't need to have the exact scent they're gonna have in that container because you're gonna bring all those candles later. So as I said earlier, how I was gonna get into kind of researching online and reaching out before you go in. So there's two different ways you can do it. You can reach out before you go in and set up an appointment, or you can just walk right in and see if there's anyone you can talk to. Both ways have worked for me. Um, I personally like making an appointment first. I can be kind of shy, um, but we all wanna get out of our comfort zones, right? It's good to be out of your comfort zone. So even myself, that is something that um, you know is out of mind, but it is good to do that. So if you are trying to schedule something, this is what I would recommend doing. Reach out on your personal Facebook. Um, that's what I usually do. It's a little bit more personable. And you can also keep an eye out, join Facebook groups that are local business owners. Because there was one, um, it was like a year or two ago, I saw a post and it was a workshop and she was looking for a local candle maker because she wanted to purchase wholesale. That's how I got that order was by just following a couple Facebook groups. So that is one little tip I can give you is follow local Facebook groups or really any local groups um, online and look for people looking for candle wholesales. That is one way to do it. Or you can just search it. So you can search Google, like I said before, gift shops, boutiques, instead of going in and saying, hey, I saw your shop online, you can reach out before you go in and say, hey, I saw your shop online. I really would like to come in and show you some samples. Send them pictures of what you have. I wouldn't just leak a website. I always send pictures because sometimes people might not click the link. They might just be like, oh, it's someone just trying to sell me something and they might not give you the chance. So if you send, cause you know they get a lot of those emails. So if you send a picture of your art and your product, they might be like, oh, that's really cool. Let me click that link and look more into it. So that's another tip on, you know, trying to reach out to people. Make sure you send them a picture of what you're doing. All right, so to summarize what you wanna bring with you, whether you're going door to door or you're making an appointment, you're going to want to have your sample scents, your sample containers, 
your wholesale website page built, if that is what you're wanting to do, and then also your wholesale price sheet. I would say the website wholesale page is definitely optional. It helps, um, but it is optional. I would say this is probably your most important because it has all of your contact information. It has all the pricing, all the pictures. I have been asked for a price sheet every single time. Um, I have either gone in somewhere or went for an appointment. Uh, so that is a very, very important. All right, so for taxes and forms like that, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have your TPT license in your state, in your area. Some states are different, so make sure you do your research in your state. I know here in Arizona, if you're selling in a specific city, you have to have that city listed on your TPT license and they're all separate. Um, so just be aware of what laws and licenses that you need uh, for wholesale as well as retail. I know some states do prefer and recommend and require a wholesale license. Um, another thing to keep in mind too when you go to the stores, some of them may say that they don't have to pay taxes and if they do, all you have to do is just get their form. Um, so they have a wholesale form, a reseller form that says that they don't have to pay taxes. So you just wanna get their account number um, and then that way you have that for your records as well. So another thing that you're gonna to wanna to bring with you when you close a sale are these, you can do this digitally. digitally. <laughs> I do it uh, manually. I'm a paper and pen kind of gal. So, this is what I do. So I write little receipts for people, uh, put their information and what they ordered, and then they get the yellow copy. I just found this to be super easy. Um, they like it, it's really easy for them to keep track as well. And then what's really nice is if they wanna reorder and they're like, oh, what did I order last time? You will have it right there, what they ordered. So that's another thing that you can bring with you just in case you close a sale and then also upon delivery, um, you can give them the receipt. So a few tips I can give you as far as once you close your sale, make sure that you give yourself enough time to make these candles. So especially if you're making your own containers, I know some of you out there use glass tins and everything, um, so the time might be a little bit less, but for myself, I make all of my containers so it does take a little bit longer for me to make them. So make sure you give yourself enough time that way you're not rushing and that way you can deliver on time. All right, so those are all my tips on wholesale and how to do it locally. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment box below and I will get back to you. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that this kind of content you would like to see more of. Thank you again for watching and I hope this video is helpful. I will see you in the next video.